Hello and welcome back to Stuart Thomas Media and another episode of Stu's Reviews. So today we're going to take a look at this, a fitness tracker by a company called Alpola or Paula or Pala. Do you know, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's spelt like this. Pronounce it how you will. I'll leave the links to their site below so you can have a look for yourself. Um, but I have no idea how to pronounce it. Anyway, I was really excited to try this fitness tracker because apparently it's one of the only few fitness trackers that includes blood pressure rating as well as your heart rate and other standard fitness tracker stuff. So let's get straight to it. It's a box. Do you know what? It's a very unassuming box. It says sports, blood pressure, heart rate mindset on the front of it. Um, it doesn't have any Orpola branding on it, so it must be kind of a generic packaging that they've developed for it. Um, although it does have their Facebook page links on the bottom, as well as obviously uh, kind of some of the features on the back, but that's enough of the box. So the style, well, it's like a normal fitness tracker, really, there's nothing that kind of stands out with the design of this particular product. Uh, it feels very rugged. Like I said, it looks like most other fitness trackers. Let's take a closer look. So, like I said, there isn't anything particularly stand out about the design of this particular product. However, there is one piece of hidden design that I really, really like. Now, if we pull this side of the strap off, it's a bit of a tug, like that, we get the charger. Now, this fits into any standard USB adapter, so you can use computer, you can use your phone chargers, you can pretty much use any USB um, charging station which is fantastic because it means that you don't need to take a bunch of other pieces of equipment to just charge your watch it means that you can oh there's the lights going it means that you can simply just plug it in and get going with the charges that you take with you so traveling is a bit easier now pop that back on and if you're wondering what those lights are that is how it reads your heart rate but let's pop that over so the watch is activated by a touch sensor at the bottom so if i just touch there it brings the watch on now you can see that the display itself is a little bit uh dark compared to some of the other options it's okay but in direct sunlight it is quite difficult to see um if we just tap the bottom as well it cycles through the different options that we have steps distance gone calories burnt and your blood pressure and heart rate also we've got things like your sleep time um, you've got orientation of the notifications and watch itself and that's it if we just change that now you'll be able to see what it looks like give it a second so to change it what you do is hold this button here or just put your finger on it and i think it should change like that so now it changes to a slant ways which is okay but i always prefer it the other way because it's easier to look at more like a normal watch So the big question is, does it function? Well, I wore this for a 24 hour period and I believe that it does function very well. Let's take a look at the app and examine some of the records it took over this 24 hour period. So the app we use for this particular fitness band is called the H band. So if we pop into there, there we are. So we're meted with this dashboard type display. Now, I haven't worn this for a couple of days, but I'll show you a previous uh, record of a few days where I have worn it. Um, you're met with a quite a nice interface. It's very sleek, very simple. Um, you can't really um, go wrong with it, to be honest. So uh, on the front, you've got steps, sleep, heart rate, and blood pressure. And at the bottom, it says, please insist on wearing. So I insist on wearing. Um, but moving on, we've got today, yesterday, and two days ago in terms of what you can see uh, data-wise. Or we can go into the individual uh, records and view uh, days gone past. So if I tap on steps, I can go back a couple of days ago. There we are. Uh, we can actually see how many steps I did throughout the entire day, which is 9,582 over a distance of 8.6 kilometers um, and it also shows you how many steps i did within half hour periods and i really like this actually it's quite a nice feature um on a lot of fitness trackers it'll just kind of give you a very randomized 
number of steps per randomized uh, time. However, on this particular app, it's quite specific in uh, within sort of half an hour, it shows you how many steps you've done. And you've got as well um, the intensity throughout the day. So the red at the top on that graph is uh, low exercise, and then the uh, orange going up to yellow is higher exercise. And then I guess green would be a, a really high exercise. However, I'm not that athletic, so I haven't really done much walking in respects to this app. Again, if we go into things like the heart rate, we can see um, heart rate over a period of time, which is really nice. Again, it does the same sort of thing. So within half an hour periods, shows you what your heart rate was. Apparently, at this point, I was dead because I had zero heart rate. But I think I may have taken it off for an hour. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But either that or I was dead for an hour, which is nice. Good to be alive. Um, and then again, we've got blood pressure. So we can pop into blood pressure and view uh, days on here. We'll just go back. There we are. Um, with the blood pressure, you have to, at the moment, manually uh, choose it to measure your blood pressure. It doesn't automatically do it. Although the update to the app now uh, does it when you're asleep. So um, it should automatically calculate your blood pressure overnight. But to do it, all you do is press the plus button and then you press play and it will begin to read it over about a minute period. You've got to keep your hands steady and it should read it. But overall, I think the app and the functionality of this is a really nice piece of kit. It's well thought out. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been cobbled together. Uh, so yeah, very impressed. So how much does the Orpola 21 BP fitness tracker cost? Well, on Amazon currently, you're looking about £30. And as usual, guys, I will leave the link below in the description so you can check it out for yourself. So what do I think of the 21 BP? Well, overall, I feel that it's a really nicely made fitness tracker. It's very rugged and it feels like I can take a good few knocks. And the fact I can charge it via USB so I can use my computer, my phone charger or anything I'm taking with me. I really love that fact. Okay, the screen potentially isn't the best screen in the world for a fitness tracker, but the fact it has a blood pressure monitor in there is a real selling point for me. And to be honest, if you are concerned about your blood pressure, it's a must have tech gadget. Like I said, I'll leave the links below where you can purchase it from Amazon directly. So if you like the video guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you back soon for more Stu's reviews.